Hello, my name is... Wait, wait a minute. There we go. Hello, my name is Navigator, and today I am joined by Monkey, obviously, as you saw just there, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of like an Atomic Shop item review. Now, I do do this every Tuesday, every week, as you guys know, but today I didn't really get anything, uh, I mean, really that special. I only actually purchased one item, and that is going to be the outfit that you see me wearing right now. This is the KD Inkwell outfit, and for those those of you who do not know, KD Inkwell was the main hero, whatever you, you want to call it, I don't know, uh, what is it, heroin? No. He yeah, it's heroin, right? It's pronounced the same way as the drug, obviously, but heroin is when there's a female main character. I forget how you pronounce it, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, she's the main character of the Escape from the 21st Century uh, scoreboard, whatever it is. So basically, she's like, I don't know, time-traveling, uh, antiquity, rip-daring, something like that. But... Her outfit uh, resembles Rip Daring a lot, and personally, I think that's why they brought it back. They were too lazy, and by they, I mean Bethesda, obviously. They were too lazy to make a Rip Daring outfit, so they brought this one back because it's basically his outfit, kind of. I don't really know. It's supposed to be on a woman, but damn. It is a really cool-looking outfit, and aside from Rip Daring, you could also kind of go like the Han Solo route with this, or most likely what I'm going to do with it is go the, uh, the Joshua Graham route, because this outfit reminds me a a lot of Joshua Graham, and I was actually just sitting here doing my Joshua Graham impression for uh, for Monkey. So that's uh, that's the outfit that I bought. It's the only thing that I actually really bought, as you can see here, Monkey is uh, joining me. And uh, the other thing that I actually ended up picking up, and I believe that it is free for everybody. If not, it is only free for Fallout First members. But this is going to be the new. It, okay, Monkey's saying that it's Fallout First members, so you can pick this up uh, this month of March. And this is going to be the Caged Owl. So actually, let me really quickly, I believe that I have uh, the first kind of caged animal up here in my room already. At least I thought I did. Let me see if I can scroll through the menu as we're going back down. But I do have a, uh, a pet cardinal. I believe it's a cardinal. Let's see, floor decor. Let's keep moving around through here. Because what I'm wondering is if you can put down this new caged owl and the cardinal, but I gotta find out where the cardinal is. Some in Misk. Okay, Monkey's saying it's probably in Misk, and he is probably right about that. Let's see. I don't mean to waste your time here, folks, but trust me, it'd be pretty cool if we can put down uh, two pets at the same time. That'd be really cool. So not miscellaneous. If, if I can't find it, we'll uh, take a passing the here we go okay wonderful sorry about that folks but there we go so this is the new caged owl um i'm sure a lot of you guys if you guys are like you know fans of dtd stuff like that been playing a lot of hogwarts legacy this will be pretty fun for you you know kind of getting your own hedwig or yeah hedwig is the name of harry's owl um yeah, pretty cool. I mean, not like this thing really does anything, although he kind of just turns around, you know, flaps his wings, stuff like that. Pretty much the same thing as the uh, the, the Cardinal. Actually, let me get the real name of this thing really fast. It's just the, yeah, the Cardinal Birdcage. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Cardinal's the same thing, kind of just stays in here, jumps around a little bit. Uh, he, he tweets, though. He, like, makes, uh, you know, little bird noises. I'm not exactly sure if the owl goes, like, you know, whoo, or something like that, but I guess uh, time will tell uh, on that. But there you go. So, as far as I can tell, this is now the third, uh, I mean, quote-unquote, no, nah, I'm not even going to say that. This is the third actual camp pet that you can have for your camp, as far as I know. Um, I can't place it down right now for some reason, but this is the mutated goldfish. Obviously, we got this with the uh, Nuka World on Tour update. We have the Caged Owl here, and we have the Caged Cardinal. Now, there are other kinds of pets you can get. Yes, I understand that. But these are, you know, pretty cool ones. And I guess they don't die, and, you know, you can kind of keep them permanently at your camp. So, yeah, pretty casual video today. Monkey, you want to step outside with me so we can wrap this up? Yeah, pretty casual video today. I got some stuff. I mean, I'm, uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? I'm too tired. I'm writing. I'm getting ready to write a 25-page thesis paper. And I got, a, got like, what, eight weeks to finish it. So I'm not looking forward to that. But uh, what I am looking forward to is uh, hopefully next week. Because there better be some better stuff in the Atomic Shop. I got all these atoms saved up for nothing. So 
I don't know, folks. Looks like I got somebody visiting my camp here in the background, but I do want to give a shout out to Monkey for, you know, joining me today and kind of fooling around with me. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do recommend picking up the KD Inkwell outfit. I think that it is very, very useful for a lot of different kinds of, you know, ideas or looks you're trying to go for. I think that it is definitely pretty, uh, you know, resourceful. And for what, 700 atoms, I believe it is on its own? That's not a terrible price, but it's also a little expensive. I don't know. That's all I have for this video, guys. I might have a couple more coming out today, but honestly, no promises. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.